What's going on everybody? It's the Bag of Tricks here. Welcome back to another video. It's been a long time since I've said that. I took a nice long break this summer from YouTube to get recharged and re-energized for this upcoming ski season, but I am back. The ski season is upon us, and I figured today was a good day to go over a couple drills that you can do in the off season in the few months leading up to the season. Really during the season, you can do these at any time, but these are going to help you figure out the balance that you need to hit rails, successfully slide rails. The balance aspect of sliding rails is probably the most difficult part of the entire thing. And once you figure that out, it gets a lot, lot easier. So today we're gonna be going over a few different ways that you can practice that feeling of sliding rails without just sending it on your skis onto a rail for the first time. Two drills that you can do in your house, outside in your driveway, at your friend's house, it doesn't really matter where, and they should greatly, greatly help you when it comes to sliding rails on skis. So let's hop right into it. All right, so I am in my living room here, which might seem weird, but when I show you this first this first drill that I want you guys to do, it's gonna make more sense. The problem a lot of people have with hitting rails is properly distributing their weight from, okay, we're skiing forwards, now we're rotating, and we're still going in that direction, but now we're sliding sideways. And generally what we see is newer park skiers landing on the rail and then slipping backwards. And that's really, really difficult to overcome because it's just so unnatural. It's just something you don't really do in your day-to-day -day life. So hopefully these two things I'm about to show you, you can start doing in your day-to-day -day life and uh, it's gonna make it a whole lot easier. So the very first thing we wanna do is find a slippery floor in somebody's house, hardwood floor, tile floor, whatever, your house, your friend's house, your aunt's house, your grandma's house, it doesn't matter where, but just get a slippery floor and then have a surface that you can jump off of onto the slippery floor. And then you're gonna want some fuzzy socks, some slippery socks. That's it, that's all we need. So in my living room, I have this piece of carpet here. I have this hardwood floor that's pretty slippery and I got some slippery socks on, it's very important. What we wanna do is start with our body facing forwards like we would if we were approaching the rail. Then we wanna jump forwards, rotate our 90 degrees and slide a little bit across the slippery surface. So it's gonna look something like this. So again, we're starting facing forwards here. We're gonna push off this surface, rotate, land in whatever direction that you think you want to slide a rail in. If you don't know which direction that is, right foot forward or left foot forward. This drill is gonna help you figure it out real quick because one is gonna feel a lot more natural. Then we're just gonna slide a little bit and try to get our weight shifted a little bit forwards. Not too crazy, but you don't wanna feel like you're gonna slip backwards. That's what we're aiming for here. So real solid, real centered and slide a little bit across the floor, just like this. Literally, that's it. That's it right there. Now at first, if that seems a little scary for you, you could literally just do that and that's going to help as well. But as you get more comfortable with it, you can start taking more speed. Okay. And now if you're really comfortable with it, get a running start and slide just like that. And it might seem stupid, it might seem simple, and it is, but it's already working on that balance, on that weight distribution. And subconsciously, your body is starting to figure out what it needs to do to stay balanced in those situations. And that's all we're going for. So that is drill number one. Do this whenever you can. Your parents might get mad at you if you're in your house sliding around like a like a professional rail skier, but it's gonna help a lot. I'm, I'm telling you, it's simple, but it'll help a lot. So let's move on to the second drill. All right, so we are at a parking lot right now, but you can do this in a driveway, on a sidewalk, doesn't matter where, anywhere with cement. And we're actually gonna start on the grass first. Where you're going to need for this next drill is skateboard. If you don't have a skateboard, you probably have a friend with a skateboard. You could go to Walmart and buy a skateboard. It doesn't have to be a nice skateboard at all. It can be the cheapest, crappiest thing you can find, but we're going to use this as a tool to mimic what it feels like hopping onto a rail. And this is going to be a lot more difficult than what we just talked about with sliding across your slippery floor. But I honestly think I was, I was trying to think of ways for the longest time that you could practice that balance, that weight distribution, and actually make it challenging without throwing on the skis, without having having to have a train park set up, without needing it to be winter even. Like, how could you practice this? And this is the best way that I've, I've came up with. And honestly, if you can do what I'm about to show you on cement with some speed, it's probably more difficult than actually hitting a rail. Like, the balance required to do what I'm about to show you is more than what you need to just hit a rail on skis or hit a box for sure. 
So let's check it out. We're first gonna start in the grass, like I said, because you don't wanna you don't wanna eat shit on cement and wreck yourself even worse than you would on skis when you're hitting a rail. So let's go over to the grass and I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, so just like with our sliding across the slippery floor, what we're trying to do is distribute our weight from going forward to now, okay, now we're going sideways. The first few times you wanna do this, you don't wanna go too crazy because this is gonna be kind of hard if you've never done anything like this before. So just start right here. We're gonna put a foot on and push and lean forward and get our momentum going that way and sideways. So do that a few times and then you can work your way up to actually hopping onto it. Now, the first few times you do this, you don't have to fully jump on with both feet because that's gonna be really difficult at first. So step onto it a few times. Take it, step onto it. You can step onto it even if you're going a little bit faster and putting a little more force into it. You can still step on like that. Um, but eventually what you want to get to is where you're jumping and both feet are hitting at the same time and then you're sliding because that is the true feeling of hitting a rail. In my opinion, it's very close to the feeling of hitting a rail on skis. So what I'm talking about is being able to do this. So same concept here, just on the cement. So you're gonna be rolling a lot faster. It's gonna be a lot more difficult to maintain your balance, but. And then again, what we're gonna do is start slow, real simple. And look, I almost slipped backward right there. I've been doing this a long time. That's how difficult this is. And that's why I've said, if you can do this, you can slide rails on skis. Now, another thing this is working on, which you might not even realize, is figuring out how to land with your feet directly centered over the rail. What I mean by that is you're not going too far that way, you're not going too far this way. If you land dead center on the skateboard, you're gonna travel perfectly straight from where the board started. But if the board's going left, the board's going right, then you know that your weight is too far back or too far forward. So it's really working on all aspects of sliding rails just in a much easier and controlled way to practice. So once you've stepped onto the skateboard a few times like I just showed you, it's now time to do the final drill, the final step in the puzzle, which is going to be going from a standstill, hopping on, and landing with both feet at once while you're on the cement. This is gonna be very difficult. Please be safe. I forgot my helmet at home, otherwise I would be wearing a helmet. Again, do it on the grass as many times as it takes for you to get comfortable. Do what I just did. Have a friend, hold your hands if you need it at first on the cement. But what we're really trying to work towards for our final version of this drill is going to be this. And once you do that, once you get super confident and super skilled with it, you can even get a little bit of a running start. And like I said, guys, if you can do this, you can slide rails. So there it is, guys. Two drills that will hopefully help you really get comfortable with that balance aspect, with that weight distribution aspect of hitting rails. Some of you are already probably doing these drills, but if you haven't and this video helped you, please leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe for more tips. We're gonna be pumping them out as we move closer to the ski season. I hope this video helps you guys. I hope you guys are lacing up those rails this season. I know you will. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you in the next video. Peace.